In Shanghai is hosting the fourth China International Technology Fair. With some 1,000 companies are showcasing their products. 170 have come from 22 countries and regions. And making her debut is a robot named Jia Jia. CCTV's Zheng Chunying has this. China's robot market is dominated by foreign players like ABB, Kuka, and Yaskawa. But the country is hoping to change that. Subsidies are helping the number of Chinese robotics firms grow fast. Gu Jun is Deputy Director General of Shanghai's Commerce Commission. He's confident in the future of lifelike service robots. We feel like, from my point of view, machinery is far removed from our life, like something on assembly line of the machine industry. But it has been found that service robots have a very broad field in application to really improve our quality of life. I think not only for the elderly, children, but also for the young and the middle-aged. Jia Jia is making her public debut at the three-day event. She's a product of the University of Science and Technology of China. Developers say Jia Jia can respond to human conversation with appropriate facial expressions and body language. And though Jia Jia may look grown up, she's still got a lot to learn. I thought she was a real human standing there when I passed by just now. Then I looked from a further distance and wondered why she didn't move. I found she was a robot when walking closer. I was surprised at that moment because she was so lifelike. She will be more lifelike if there is more body language. I observed for a while and found that she can move her mouth and eyes with a limited range of hand action. In the future, she will be more lifelike and lively if her arms and legs can move in a wider range. Few domestic robotics companies have their own technology. For now, it's a struggle to compete on price alone. But in the long run, the industry is expected to become a leading force. Zheng Chunyi, CCTV.